Why not to switch from Fujifilm to Leica? Why I don't like Leica? Why Leica is not ticking with me? And why I don't want to buy Leica? Because I'm very satisfied with Fujifilm. Let's see the reasons. Leica versus Fujifilm. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to share with you a few reasons why I do prefer to shoot Fujifilm, why I've looked at Leica and why I've decided in the end I don't need Leica, I don't want Leica and Leica it's not making me tick how Fujifilm is making me tick and want to use their cameras. So let's talk about this. First, the price. Yes, the price is big and let's say you have the budget to buy a Leica, but if you don't have enough budget for not worrying about your Leica, then this is a no-go. So having a 10K plus camera with you and having in your mind the idea that you must take care of the camera, not to scratch it, not to bump it, not to crash it, it will be something that it will bother you compared to a more less expensive camera, five times less than a Leica camera. So you'll maneuver a cheaper camera with ease of mind. And this is important for everyday shooting, for family photography, for street photography, for documentary photography. You want to be in the moment and not to think about the value of your gear. So let's say this is not a problem, but there are more reasons why I'm liking to shoot Fujifilm. The next big reason is the weight. Fujifilm, it's smaller and it's lighter. It's smaller and it's lighter. Leica, it's not as light as it was probably years and years ago compared to other medium format cameras. Yes, when the first Leica 35mm film camera appeared, it was smaller than a medium format camera or other cameras at that time. But now it's not the case. Now it's not the case. Fujifilm is smaller, it's lighter, and this is it. You will have to carry at least a one kilogram for a Leica M10 and a 50mm F2 Leica lens and a spare battery. And this is way, way under. This is around 500 grams, 600 grams with a lens and the battery, so way, way lighter. So this is a big thing. And if you want to add other lenses again. So regarding weight and ease of use because of the weight, Fujifilm, it's a more compact package and you have many other Fujifilm smaller cameras and lighter cameras, not Fujifilm X Pro 3. The next big reason, and this is one of the most important reasons. This is why I'm not looking at all at a Leica camera or at a Leica lens because of the minimum to focus distance. The minimum to focus distance, it is 0.7 meters. So 70 centimeters. This is a no go. This is, I don't know, at this age and at this time, for me, a 70 centimeters. Minimum focus distance on a lens, it's, it's crazy. It's, I don't like it at all. This 7 Artisan that I have mounted on my Fujifilm X Pro C has this 0.7 meters minimum to focus distance. But I'm not liking it at all. So this unfortunately can't be my everyday shooting lens. Unfortunately, because I'm really liking how this 7 Artisan is rendering the image. It has a sonar design. But a normal Fujifilm lens, the 35 f2 lens, small, compact, weather sealed, Leica is not weather sealed, and the weather sealing, it really matters in some cases. So, lighter, AF, and minimum to focus distance, crazy, crazy good. And now, yes, the next point, AF. I don't want to stay to manual focus every time. I do understand that if you are just manual focusing, your camera and lenses, you can become a master and you don't have to rely on AF. But this is not the case for me. I don't have time to just to stay and to manual focusing lenses. I've used for over a year a manual focusing lens on a Sony camera and I will talk in a minute about this experience and why 
the manual focusing experience on other cameras is better compared to a Leica. So AF and manual focusing when I want, I can shoot this on my Fujifilm. This is a big, big thing. Next image quality. Let's talk about the image quality. Yes, Leica, it's a full frame camera, but the latest sensors, I don't know, I'm feeling that Sony sharpness in there. I'm feeling that digital look there. Here, I don't feel the digital look. And with a great lens, and with a good lens, with an f1.4, f1.2 aperture, f0.95 aperture on a manual focusing lens like Metacon, 35 meters f0.95, I can get similar similar results and I don't think if even better results if we will talk about Fuji film film simulations like it doesn't have this and film simulations straight from the camera with great image quality it's something that no other system is offering and Leica is not offering this so pair a great lens with this camera and you'll get great image quality comparable image quality I'm not feeling that I will win much regarding image quality. Of course, you will win when you will shoot a lens, a full frame lens, like a 50 meters f1.4. Yes, you will win at depth of field. You will feel that difference. But again, you have equivalent lenses on Fujifilm, f0.95, that will get you there. But more than that, you don't buy a Leica to shoot it open at f1.4. You buy it to shoot it using zone focusing at f8, f11. And I can do this also here with AF or with zone focusing, or I can do it on a full frame camera. And by the way, I have a special newsletter dedicated to the passionate photographer. So if you want to learn more about photography tips, tricks, and all kinds of useful information for free, please subscribe to my newsletter, link in the comments and description. And now let's talk about the manual focusing experience. Yes, on like I have the only rangefinder experience. But what is that rangefinder experience? Well, it's a patch. You align two images, you have the image in focus. But you don't buy Leica for this. This doesn't mean you master manual focusing. Mastering manual focusing means you know zone focusing. Means you are able to predict the distance between you and your subject. You don't rely on the patch. Yes, you can rely on the patch in photo shoots, in portrait shoots, but I understand that at f1.4 and at f0.95 lenses, you'll have some problems. You want to rely on an EVF. So this is why lots of users are buying the Leica EVF or they are using the screen. So where is the advantage of a patch finder? Again, I know it's fun. I know it's something that you can... Uh, rely i know it's something that will thrill you in the first months but after that you really need to go to zone focusing you really need to be able to predict the distance between you and the subject this is mastering of a manual focusing lens so zone focusing is the key and talking about zone focusing and manual focusing using screens and using evf we have better systems but also sony has voigtlander lenses with cheap contacts that will zoom in, punch in zoom when you want to manual focus the lens. I've used such a system for over any year. And yes, it was very easy for me to manual focus in a fraction of a second, a 15 meters F2 lens, a Zeiss Loxia lens. So it was easy. Punch in zoom, lightly press the shutter and compose the image and the subject was in focus. So I was really liking that system. But now we have a better system from Nikon ZF. So Nikon ZF is bringing an extraordinary manual focusing system, unbeatable at this moment. And I hope Fujifilm X-Pro 4, probably come on Fujifilm, give us the ZF manual focusing system on X-Pro 4. So on ZF, when you want to manual focus a lens, you have eye detect and subject detection with a manual focusing lens and the camera will automatically zoom on the subject and on the eye of the subject. So it will be very, very easily to acquire focus. Yes, you don't have a patch finder. Okay, 
but this is not enough for me. That patch is not enough for me to convince me to buy like. It's not enough for me. I get it. I have cameras that are functioning like this. I have a Zorki camera, a rangefinder camera. Okay, I align two images. It's okay, but it's faster for me when I'm doing street photography to zone focus, to pre-focus my lens at a distance that I want to have the image in clear focus. So again, the patch in the manual focusing, the rangefinder system, with that limited minimum to focus distance is not something that uh, will make me tick with a Leica camera. Next, on a Fujifilm camera, you have tilt screens and I'm liking to shoot tilt screens. It's more fun, it's more easy. So, tilt screen, huge deal here. And now let's talk about the optical viewfinder. On X Pro 3, you have optical viewfinder, but on Leica, you have just optical viewfinder. But here you have optical viewfinder, electronic viewfinder, but also a hybrid viewfinder. So optical viewfinder with electronic viewfinder in the same time. So beat this Leica if you can. Beat this. It's incredible and I'm really, really liking it a lot. So in conclusion, this can be my everyday camera. Fujifilm are my everyday cameras. Why? Because they are pretty tough compared to a Ricoh, compared to other cameras. They don't cost so much as a Leica camera, so I don't have to worry about them. They are bringing great image quality, comparable without problems image quality, and even better because of the film simulations. Let's include the film simulations in the image quality, because what matters is the final result. And if I can have a final result straight from the camera, and especially for family photography, for personal documentary photography, why should I bother with editing raw files in Adobe Lightroom and try to get different looks? I don't know. It's not something that I will do for passion photography. Yes, I will do it for business photography. I will do it for paid photography. But for passion photography, you really want straight off the camera JPEGs. So Leica is not offering me this at all. So having all these reasons in mind, this is why I'm not looking at Leica and I will stick with Fuji and I will be very, very happy with Fuji. No problems, really no problems. What I would want from X Pro 4, yes, it would be not a rangefinder system. I don't want rangefinder systems uh, on X Pro 4. Let's be serious. On X Pro 4, it's not something that we will see. Probably what it's possible to see, it's a manual focusing system like on ZF. This is not a true rangefinder camera, but with dedicated lenses from Voigtlander, with a manual focusing system like on ZF, what more could you want? Well, what I would want more, it's better manual focusing lenses on X Pro cameras. Yes, we have the body, but we don't have many lenses with accurate zone focusing system but you can adapt and you can calibrate the lens or you can calibrate yourself with the body and lens and get the zone focusing system working and for this also there are some tt artisan lenses the 35 meters f 0.95 the tt artisan lens is working great with highlight -like picking on a fujifilm body and it's light and it's looking great so what more could you want so, if you want to master manual focusing on a Fujifilm X-Pro camera, I really do recommend check my next video, Fujifilm X-Pro C, the analog experience. Also, give it a like to this video, share my video and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe now and check the next video.